Hello everyone, today I'm here to do kind of a very specific type of recommendation video. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite podcasty books. And what that means is not books about podcasts, no. Books that have podcasts kind of featured in them. Books that have podcasts that are kind of at the forefront of the plot that kind of revolve around a fictional podcast. So that is like one of my favorite like subgenres. If it is a subgenre, I don't know. We're just going to roll with it like it is. But anytime I like hear about a book that has a podcast featured into it or a podcast plays at some part of it, I'm immediately drawn to it because I think they are, they just are done so well and I have a lot of fun with them. So I have about six or seven books that have podcasts kind of sprinkled throughout them that I really want to recommend to you today. So the first one I want to talk about is probably the first podcast that you have a book I've ever read and it's probably a lot of people's favorites with good reason and that is Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is a YA mystery thriller that is great to listen to an audiobook. I'd say honestly anytime a book features like a podcast in it the more than likely the audiobook is just going to be amazing. Likewise with the case of Sadie. So this book follows a character you guessed it named Sadie whose sister was brutally murdered and she knows who killed her. Like she knows she wants revenge so she kind of leaves town and goes after the killer and meanwhile um her grandmother reaches out to this very popular podcast guy named I think his name is Wes um Wes McRae and um <clears throat> he goes to this little small town it's like kind of a rinky dink town and he interviews people and he's always like three or four steps behind Sadie so you get to see his podcast going of him trying to find Sadie while also simultaneously going on Sadie's journey where she's a little bit farther ahead on this so it's just a great book it's a creepy book it's got a lot of really heavy topics in it but I thoroughly enjoyed it it's definitely just an awesome audiobook and an awesome book in general. Like if you want just a great book to start off with, with the whole podcast element into it, this is a great one to start out with and just one of my favorites in general. Next up, another one of my favorites is The Night Swim by Megan Golden. This is an adult mystery thriller that I loved. I actually physically read this, so I haven't, I can't recommend the audiobook, but I've heard good things about it. So all of these I would probably recommend on audio because like I said, they feature a about podcasts and stuff like that. So this is actually about the podcast host Rachel and she has this um, kind of murder mystery podcast, true crime podcast, and she goes to this really small town, it's like a seaside town because the town's golden boy was accused of rape. And so she goes into the town to attend the court trials and her whole podcast each episode is one of the days in the trial and she's updating her viewers of whether or not this um, boy is you know, guilty or not of this. Meanwhile, we also have this woman that keeps leaving Rachel's these notes, like in her car windshield, things like that. And it's a woman that is claiming that her sister died 25 years ago and it was ruled as a drowning, but she knows that her sister was killed and she wants Rachel's help. She's like, help me like figure out what happened to my sister 25 years ago, like help me. And so basically she's, you're going along two kind of things that Rachel's doing. One with this trial that she's going and attending to see if this um, rape trial is happening, you know, with guilty or not. And she's also trying to help figure out if this girl that was ruled as a drowning 25 years ago really was a drowning or was it something more? Is there things being hidden? So I love this book. Highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite, if not my ultimate favorite kind of podcasty book. I just really enjoyed it. Anytime there's like a true crime podcast enveloped with a thriller book, I'm immediately drawn to, even though I don't listen to true crime podcasts. I don't know. But either way, highly recommend, really enjoyed. Next up, moving back to the YA genre, I have Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. This is actually the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I'm recommending the second book more because it's more podcasty. Get what I'm saying? I don't think you necessarily have to read the first book, but it wouldn't hurt. And I do really enjoy the first book. So in this book, in particular in this book, we follow a character named Pip. And Pip has just kind of um, solved this big crime in the first book, things like that. She's kind of, she's hanging up her hat. She's done. She's only like a senior in high school. She's like hanging up her detective hat. She's like, I don't want any more. It was very traumatic. But she is participating in the trial of kind of what happened in the first book and not only that but she's also like kind of night swim she's updating her podcast she starts a podcast to let viewers know what's going on things like that so that's how the podcast really weaves into this and also there's a new case that opens up one of her friend's brothers goes missing and he's desperately like hey help me out Pip like you are really good at this but Pip's like I the, like the last case I did was so traumatic like I don't want to do this but it's one of her best friends and so she 
does this trial thing, kind of like the Night's One, but she's also doing her own like kind of investigation on the side to try to find her friend's brother. Meanwhile in this book, this is not just um, a great audiobook. It's got great media formats into it as well with like maps and pictures and things like that. So it's a really awesome book. I don't know if the third book will be necessarily very podcast wise, but either way, I would recommend it in case you're a lover of like podcasty type of books. I'm gonna keep saying that repeatedly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have two more thrillers to talk about because I feel like kind of the podcast element within a book goes really hand in hand with thrillers. That's why I recommend a lot of them. Um, the next one is The Girls Are Never Gone. And this, I forgot the author's name. Please forgive me. I read this on ebook and I didn't love it, but I could see a lot of people really enjoying it. So that, that's why I'm recommending it to you. This is about a character named Dare. And Dare, at the beginning of the book, her and her boyfriend have this kind of YouTube channel where they ghost hunt and things like that. But sadly, Dare and her boyfriend have broken up. You know, it's, it's done. And so she she decides to start her own podcast with ghost hunting, even though she doesn't really believe in ghosts. She goes to this place called Arlington Estate. <sighs> Words, what are they? And she's heard there's been a lot of murders that have been at this house, but there's also like this renovation going on in this house. So she decides to be an intern while simultaneously, while also doing her podcast to figure out what happened to this this girl that tragically like died so many years ago also is this house really haunted you know we got a lot of that going on it's a why mr thriller i don't know if i said that already but it's definitely very creepy it's a creepy house we got some romance going on and it wasn't one of my favorites but i still enjoyed it and would be great to read honestly in our halloween which we're creeping up on so um i would recommend it in that regard and the cover oh my gosh the cover is so cool but she definitely, you know, is dipping her toes in the podcast water with like the ghost hunting element and things like that. So definitely check it out. We have one that I, oh, I didn't enjoy this one. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's about podcasts. So here we are. And that is If I Disappear by Eliza Jane Brazier. Did I read that this this year i think i read this earlier this year and i was so excited for it because like i said anytime i hear about a book that has a podcast element in it i'm like immediately there and this one just it didn't deliver but i thought you know it's got the podcast element in it, so let's talk about it <laughs> i care named sarah who loves true crime podcasts she listens to them all the time and she has a particular favorite host and a favorite show and her she notices that the host goes missing like she stopped uploading it's been a long time no one knows where this host of the show has gone and so sarah decides to take it upon herself to find her so she goes up to where this like the host like lives or where she lives with her parents on the kind of like this up on this mountain where there's like it's remote that's like a farm and sarah's like gets a job there with her parents to try to figure out where she has gone and it gets really twisted um but i just i didn't love it because honestly it was boring. The ending was interesting. I'll say that for sure. The ending definitely won me over. But as far as the rest of the book goes, it was just kind of mediocre, in my opinion. But again, like I said, it's all about Sarah, who loves true crime podcasts. And the whole book is about her trying to find her favorite like host of that said podcast. So it's interesting in that regard. I just wished it delivered a little bit more. And then we have one that I DNF'd, but I'm just gonna talk about briefly. And that is Six Stories by Matt. I cannot pronounce the last name. So this one um, is interesting in the fact that it is six stories. There's a crime that happened and you follow like six different like people's stories of what happened. I think I got maybe through the first two. I just, I, I was bored by it. I wasn't really interested in it. It's such a short read that I'm really, I'm mad at myself for DNF in it, but then I just, I just didn't enjoy it. So I'm trying to do the, you know, new rule of if I didn't love it, just let it go and it'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I would talk about it because like I said, the whole book is really about podcasts. And like I said, the audiobook is really cool. Maybe I should actually listen to the audiobook and not physically read it. That might be a turning point for me. Maybe I'll try that next time if I try to reread it. But I think the whole concept was interesting. You know, six stories, six perspectives from six different people on this one night that this crime happened. But I just don't know if it was executed well, at least in the physical format. This might be a book that's like truly meant to be read audiobook wise. So I might, if you've read it, I would love to know your thoughts. If you physically read it or audiobook read it, let me know your thoughts and opinions, which format you think is better and if one format deterred you or made you like more it was more applicable it was more easy to digest I, I don't know i can't talk but you get what i'm saying so yeah that's one that i just thought i would mention and then the last two i want to talk about are 
two just not even like thrillers at all. They're just kind of romance books. The first one is an adult romance and that is The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. So in this book we have two characters named Dom and Shay who work at NPR, National Public Radio. They live in Seattle and Shay has um been working there for years. She's kind of like the producer of one of the um, radio shows and she's loving her life. And then enters a new kind of guy named Dom who moves up the rankings quickly and he's young and she can't stand him. And basically their particular branch or I don't know how it is with the NPR world and things like that is not doing so well. They need some like new shows. And so Shay thinks of this idea for this um, new radio show podcast called The X Talk where you have two people that are in a relationship that are broken up exes and they just sit and talk about like kind of the relationship while also talk about being friends while still being exes and talk about just relationships in general and the boss is immediately sold and he's like great you and Dom do it and she's like we've never did it so how could we do this and he's like you know what just fake it it's fine and so they pretty much fake that they had a relationship and fake that they broke up to do this whole radio show called the x talk and it's really cute um i had i actually physically read this but i imagine the audiobook is really good because you probably get to hear snippets of them talking like actual podcast style radio show style which is really cool and also it really gives you a peek into the whole npr world of how it's produced how you do different segments get different sponsors things like that so i really really enjoyed it. So in case maybe the thriller podcast type of books aren't your jam, I would definitely check out The X Talk. And the last book is a Y contemporary book and that is Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. So this follows a character named Kate who lives like kind of at a lake town if that makes sense like her family even lives on the lake they have a business where they run out jet skis and things like that and it follows her as her senior in high school and she takes this podcasting class which is so cool like I graduated like so long ago, like I don't even want to tell you how long ago it was. Let's just say it's been 10 years. It's been over 10 years. <laughs> yeah, so like my, my high school didn't do that. Like the cool thing I did was yearbook class. Cool. Um, so the fact that high schools now have podcasting class, get up on that. Take that opportunity because rest assured, if they would have had that when I was in school, would have really took it, would have loved it. Like even just behind the scenes, like, producing and things like that. Gosh. Anyway, Kate is in a podcasting class and each team kind of has to come up with their own podcast and, you know, things like that. And Kate's team votes Kate as like the host of the podcast. And she's like, oh, I'm not like, I'm not good at that. But actually she turns out she's really good at it. And it's a whole podcast about giving out relationship advice and love advice and things like that. And that's kind of what the whole book is about. It's just really cute. It's a great summer read, I say, as I am putting this up in fall please forgive me but if you want to say it for summer go right on ahead but either way it had a cute little podcast element to it it wasn't the whole thing but it was just like kind of a cute little add-on to the book that I really enjoyed so there you have it those are my favorite like podcast books featuring podcasts I don't even know I'm going to title this video it's such a like kind of niche video that I'm like I don't know what to call it but I thought you know I've wanted to do this video for a while so now's the time to do it and I would love to know what books are your favorite that you've read that have podcasts in them because I know I did not mention them all it's still really a small kind of pool to choose from that and it's growing a lot I've noticed each year there's about two or three more that get released that have kind of that podcast element to it so it's definitely growing still just a small selection to pull from if that makes sense but I would love to hear if you have any recommendations for like books featuring podcasts because I want to read them ASAP thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye